My goal is to give you value in the first 10 seconds of this video. So let's see if I can do it. Biggest takeaway is if you're driving rideshare that you are setting a block of time for you to actually go out there and do rideshare. You're not just driving when it's surging. You're not picking just the weekends. You are setting aside a block of three, four, five hours, whatever it is, and you commit to that time. I have another episode of the Side Geek Central podcast that I'm going to show you a sneak peek of today. Good friend Emmanuel Tegging, who is a rideshare driver, has tons of experience in the rideshare industry, and he kind of walks us through some of those really uh, finer details. I got started in the rideshare business, um, or just doing it as a side gig originally because I was working for a bank and this was back when I was in Maryland. We were talking about Uber, how it's re really helping people get um, money on the side or people doing it full time. I wasn't sure about it at first. I got started, I did a couple of rides. I didn't really like it because uh, it was really awkward, mm. you know, having a person that you don't know in the back seat. But I'm a people's person, so yeah. like, it didn't really take that much time for me to get over that. Mm -hmm. um, soon enough, I, you know, I started doing like, you know, once a week one um, of course one day a week on my day off and and i see the money coming in and i said okay right, this is something that i can actually do Are there any strategies that you use mm -hmm. to really you know if you had a goal in mind you know i need to make x amount yeah. in a month or yeah. i need to make x amount in a week like what were some of the strategies that you use to make sure like you know i hit my mark every every week or just Whatever showing up, to be honest with you, like mm. you got to be strategic, right? Uh, if you are going to do it as a side gig, um, you got to choose the time. Normally, if you're doing a nine to five, mm -hmm. I would say getting out of work at five and then doing it for an extra three, four hours. That's great. Like most people, most people make the mistake of, okay, I'm going to work when it's surging or I'm, I'm going to go out when it's really busy. But one thing that I've learned from doing um, ride sharing is you you got to give it a time. Mm. So it has to be, for me, it worked in a way. Like, I did try the, okay, I'm going to be smart and do the morning hours and then, you know, rest or go to the gym in the afternoon. Or So now it, it really is a lot going on in my mind. For me personally, what worked was setting a time. All right, I'm going to be out there for five hours a day today. For example, I know a lady who actually called out of work because she had to make a payment for her insurance and the flexibility of Uber wait, and Lyft. <laughs> wait, 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 walk me through that. Wait, she called out of her full time job, job yeah. to go and do yeah. ride, ride share. sharing so that she'll be able to make a, a payment on a bill. <laughs> There's like so many things yeah. kind of like inherently wrong about that. But yeah, it makes sense. so because she was well, not wrong about it. But, well, so she was making more money. Exactly. Working for herself. Yeah, basically. Exactly. Than, than her her regular nine to five. That's yeah. so interesting. Yeah. To me. Uh, maybe the reason why she stuck with that job is because insurance or different right. things benefits, or benefits. Yeah. Benefits, yeah. right? But yeah. I remember her telling me that she's going to call off of work and she <laughs> did so that she'll be able to make money today and cash it out. You know, Lyft, Uber, they actually have that flexibility yep. of you taking the, ca the cash out immediately and was able to pay your bills instead of waiting or defaulting on that payment for that check to come. She was able to get that done. You wow, know? it's oh wow, yeah. it, my mind blown. Yeah, yeah, me Just too. Happened. I was like, Just... that's smart. And again, I appreciate you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel already, or leave a comment. Either one is good. I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you next week. Next week. Yes, I was filming this. I just got this random voicemail from a Lyft driver that wants to schedule an oil change. It's so weird. Hi, Lena. Rob Chabelle. Trying to come in to uh, order an oil change. Um, okay, uh, could you give me a call back on my sales business line at sales? Um, no, Rob. I'm sorry. You have the wrong number. Don't call me for oil changes. Thank you.